What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and beautiful people of the Crasher community, how are you guys doing it today? Now, this is going to be a little bit more of a serious video, because we're going to be talking about YouTube and the algorithm, and there's something pretty damn concerning that we need to address. Let's get into this. Study finds YouTube algorithm can push violent graphic videos to young children. A recent study has found that the YouTube algorithm has the potential to automatically push violent or graphic videos to young children without them actively searching for them. YouTube's video algorithm has been a point of contention for quite some time. The mysterious inner workings of the platform's recommended feed have dictated what content is pushed to viewers and, in turn, what content gains popularity. The algorithm, like most other social media platforms, takes into account what content the user is consuming before offering them similar content in order to keep them engaged. At least, that's the intention. Often, this means tuning a user's suggested videos to cater to their particular hobbies and enjoyment. However, a new study has found that there may be a potentially darker side to how YouTube's algorithm functions. A study conducted by the Tech Transparency Project found that young children were having their YouTube suggestions flooded with graphic videos about school shootings, gun training videos, and more. The new study took two YouTube accounts and simulated the behavior of two nine-year-olds who like video games. These accounts were both identical, except one would click on videos that were recommended by YouTube whilst the other did not. The account that did click on the suggestions provided by the platform was soon flooded with graphic content, the report claims. The account that did not interact with the suggestions would still receive some gun-related videos at a total of 34. However, the accounts that did engage with the suggested videos would end up receiving 382 different firearm-related videos in a month, or around 12 per day, according to the research. Alongside this, the study also created accounts that mimicked 14-year-old boys and found similar results. The findings of the study have brought about criticism of YouTube's algorithm, which a spokeswoman at the platform defended in response to AP News. They noted it requires users under the age of 17 to gain their parents' permission before using the site, and accounts for users under 13 are linked to a parental account. We offer a number of options for younger viewers, which are designed to create a safer experience for tweens and teens. The conversation about algorithms has also bled onto TikTok, which has similarly defended its site and policies by stating they prohibit users under the age of 13. Well, holy moly, ladies and gentlemen, talk about a slippery slope in this situation. Now, I know that the YouTube algorithm is not perfect. It is far from flawless. But hot damn, talk about ramping things from 1 to 100 when it comes to little Timmy or little Johnny wanting to look up YouTube videos about gameplay footage or just video games in general. And then after they're done watching a couple of dozen videos, they start getting recommended genuinely inappropriate and potentially graphic videos that they have no business seeing. And I'm definitely concerned here, and that concern comes from a few places, such as, I guess you could say, the place where I am like an older sibling slash father figure to some of my younger viewers here that tune into my videos, as well as some of the youth that I work with at my part-time job, and I wouldn't want them to come across videos that could potentially be graphic and traumatizing for them. Absolutely no freaking way. And another place where that concern comes from actually has to do with the YouTube platform itself. Itself. Like, the absolute last thing that we need is for another adpocalypse to take place. How many of you guys remember the original adpocalypse that took place several years ago? That era was an absolute garbage mess, and I don't think any of us want to ever revisit that era ever again. And the reason I bring that up is because you are most likely going to have rogue media outlets trying to take stories like this and either over embellish on certain aspects of it or try to add things and create some sort of false counterfeit dishonest narrative as a way to try and destroy YouTube or at least have a negative impact on YouTube and by proxy the YouTube community. Now I hope it doesn't get to 
that point, and I hope that YouTube are at least aware of this, and will hopefully make good changes to the YouTube algorithm in a way where it's both beneficial for the YouTube creators, and also safe for younger eyes to watch YouTube videos. Because the absolute last thing that we need to deal with would be another YouTube adpocalypse, thanks to dishonest hacks like Wall Street Journal. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, what are your guys' thoughts and opinions about what we discussed here in today's video? I'd love to hear you guys back in the comments down below. And that's it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for your time as well in viewing this video. Have yourself a damn good one, you beautiful people. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I will see you next time.